Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another artificial intelligence video. And in this video I'm going to do things a little bit differently since we're starting with the more advanced topics. For this video I'm going to discuss, you know, the logic and the ideas behind this current topic of artificial intelligence. So the next few tutorials we are going to be discussing grouping artificial intelligence and what does the grouping artificial intelligence do. So for this video we're not going to go into any code. I'm going to do a video overlay and try to make that all nice and neat for you guys and just discuss the general concept behind grouping artificial intelligence. Okay, for every game element you want to ha have participate in this grouping artificial intelligence, they have a circular zone. They have a detection distance from the object. And the detection distance is just a single value, so it's a circular zone around the object. Any element within another element's circular zone, the detection distance, will set it as its parent to focus. So we have one game element that is set to the parent, another game element that is following that object. Now you can do all sorts of tricks behind the scenes to determine which one to give the parent and which one to give the follower rights to. And then we can go into all that information later. But every game element has a circular detection distance. And any other game element that participates in this, they will be connected in such a way that they will be following the three guidelines for grouping or flocking artificial intelligence. Okay. First up, separation artificial intelligence. When two 